to start before that collective solo league at park on the way shine down and metallica so it's monday we're all recovering from super sunday if you are a uh, new orleans saints fan congratulations and and you know for those of you who just wanted a decent game yeah that's two years in a row that we got a decent uh super bowl so to speak and uh you know if it weren't for the fact that uh I only got three out of four of my parlay that everybody's heard about because I was so close. Come on, man. You can't tell me the Saints and the uh, Colts couldn't cover 57 points. God, give me a break. So in the studio with me, it's our uh, distinct pleasure to have uh, Chris Schifflet from the Foo Fighter fame. Also, formerly no use for a name, Jackson United. Hold on. I'm, I'm, uh, me first in the gimme gimme, so I'm a big fan of. Thank and you. there's one more I'm missing, Chris. Well, within I, the last five years, what, what am I missing? Within the last five years, I think you covered it. I think that was pretty much it. I mean, we could get into like Rat Pack and Lost Kittens, but that was in high school. Right, right. No, I'm talking there was. Ago. You sure? I, yeah, maybe I'm right. I played Hold on my brother's record called Viva Death. Maybe that's what you're yeah, it's probably the one I'm thinking of. So, uh, you know, let's uh, let's find out why are you uh, why are you in Reno this uh, this week? I'm trying to figure that out for myself. <laughs> I'm, not, um, I'm out here. I'm, well, I'm out on tour right now doing this little uh, uh, acoustic solo tour. Thing. Right, right, right. And uh, it's me and my good friend Tony Sly uh, from No Use for a Name. Right. And we've uh, started this tour a few nights ago in Seattle, and we're just kind of working our way down to Southern California. Nice. It's got to be, you know, it's funny how many of the uh, funny the musicians have been around, specifically bigger bands, and we talk about this all the time because uh, you, your background coming from uh, from the punk scene, I know you spent some early days with Fat Records and, and all that other stuff, how many of those guys have persevered and really have kind of come into the mainstream and become successful musicians, and we were having this conversation when uh, with uh, Will, the new singer for Alice in Chains, who was with Neon Christ in, uh, uh, in Atlanta, and we were talking about how the whole DIY thing, and when you out, you, you went out and you really humped it, and you went out there, and it wasn't about tour buses, and it wasn't about, well, if we're not playing to a thousand people, we don't want to do the show. It was like going out and entertaining how many of you are still out there and being successful musicians, and being able to step back and do acoustic stuff now, much like Kevin Seconds does here, uh, right here in Reno. Well, you, you know, it's, it's a pretty, uh, you know, I, I lead a pretty lucky life, you know, I've been through the years, the bands I've been fortunate to play with, and the success that's come with that has been amazing right so to go out and do a little tour like this is it's it's a lot of fun you know because i don't have an album that i'm like promoting right i don't i don't even have t-shirts or anything I'm not no selling. pressure there's no like nobody knows the music if i get 30 people in a bar like i'm stoked you're stoked you know what I mean? and it's and it's and it's the the other thing too is is it's it's a lot easier than corralling a bunch of buddies together and renting a van and kind of having to, you know, make it, uh, putting a band together is difficult. Going out and just picking up your acoustic guitar, it's like a road trip more than a tour. And I realized when we were driving to Seattle the other night, like, for all the years I've toured around all over the country, I was, like, asleep most of the time. Yeah, I never yeah. drove, you well, know? sure. So I'm, like, seeing places and seeing the sights in a way that I, that I, uh, have kind of never really experienced before. It's, it's it's a lot of fun. Well, I know when we met several years back in, uh, at Tampa, I've I've gone on these airwaves uh, when I moved here several months ago. And anytime the Foo Fighters would come up, I mean, I know you're a big part of that. Uh, I have always said, and there's not one person in this town that can't say I haven't said this, that out of all the bands I've met in my many years in, in radio and on the band scene, I have never met a more down to earth, let's say, quote unquote, big arena size rock band then when we did the meet and greet with you with my old station in tampa i mean it was as soon as we went in there you 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 were timely spent a lot of time with our listeners dave made the round started the conversation with us and all we did was talk about the old scream days up in dc and that and he made his rounds came back to us and, and all of you were just uh it wasn't we didn't feel like we got the brush yeah right on and right on. you know and that's where um you know, I think it's deserved success. And I was happy when I was doing some research to see what, you, what you've what you been up to, how, uh, you know, a few records back with it. Was it Jackson United that they came in and helped you out with the drumming? Was yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Dave, Dave and Taylor both, you know, we went in to go record, and uh, and the guy that we had playing with us at the time just sort of didn't work out in the studio. Sure. And uh, and Dave happened to drop by, because we, you know, we own the studio uh, at Foo Fighters do in, in L.A. where we make our records, and uh -huh. he just happened to drop by that day. You know, he comes down there a lot. It's just down the street from his house. And I just told him what was going on. He goes, dude, I'll play drums on your record. He goes, nice. call Taylor, too. You know, get him down here. We'll just, we'll both do it. And right. they both did. They came in. They both banged out like eight songs. And nice. It was, it was yeah, it was amazing. So it got a lot better, believe me. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm sure all there. You know, as, as a total aside from that, but, you know, mentioning Scream, you reminded me of this. Did you by any chance watch that uh, SNL over the weekend? No, no, oh no, no, no. There's a skit on there that Dave plays drums. It's supposed to be like this 
guy's daughter's wedding. Okay. And uh, and and he gets his old band back together, and, and his old band are a bunch of. It's they were like his punk rock band from the early 19s. Right. It's the funniest thing I've. It's the funniest Saturday night. Live skit. Oh, I'll go search it up life. on YouTube. All right, right highly we'll recommend it. It's really? unbelievable. Yeah, if, oh, if nice. you're a fan of that kind of music, they nail the vibe. It, it, like it's perfect. Really, it sounds like 1982. Well, where East Coast hardcore. So I mean, it's just perfect. Was it any of the old cats from that scene? No, it was all. It was well, Dave. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just but, saying uh, the rest. But the other guys were just, uh, just, were just actors. SNL cast. Oh, no yeah, kidding. So I'll definitely funny. check that out. Well, you know, we, we talked, you know, before about Scream in the old days, and, you know, they toured Florida. And, it, you know, it's again, it just goes back to, wow, it's so good to see some of these faces and names still out there and, and successful. Now, do you have any plans to record uh, your solo stuff? I do. You know, I'm, I'm actually, uh, almost, I've been recording it for the last couple of months. Okay. I, I thought I would be done by the time this tour came up because, you know, we planned it a couple months ago. Sure. But, uh, you know, these things never really work out the way you think they are. And so I got a few more things I got to do when I get home, and hopefully we'll get the record out pretty soon. Nice, it's, nice. it's just about done. Just cool. about done. Well, we're speaking with uh, Chris Shiflett from uh, the Foo Fighters, and no use for a name. I mean, that's his former bands, Jackson United, and a million other bands. Uh, so uh, the recent news is that you know, um, you know, you guys did the best of obviously with the Foo yep. Fighters, and you have a lot of time off. Um, is this filling the gap? Is this doing it for you? Yeah, well, you know, I've, I spent about a year at home with my family, which was great, and then I just started getting that itch, you know, and I had a bunch of songs, and I just wanted to go record them and, and finish them up. I, that's kind of, you know, how I operate. Like, if I don't if I don't have a deadline or, some, you know, something coming up, then I just I'll procrastinate these things forever. So I, I got in the studio with some buddies, and Derek over here in the corner is one of them, cool. playing keyboards with me, but... Uh, <laughs> and, and so we've just been working on getting this record done, and uh, and it's uh, it's been good. You know, it's been good time off. It'll be exciting to get back to work with Foos, but I don't think that's going to happen for a little while. Probably, you know, not to the end of the year. So. Yeah, well, that I I thought I heard that. Is there wasn't there a new baby? You know, in, in the family. There's been a couple. A couple, couple new ones. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, I, I know Dave. Uh, they, you know, they had another baby, and Taylor had another baby. And okay. We've all got kids, and it's nice to be. Home. Now, are you based? Uh, are you in the Bay Area still, or uh, no? I'm, I'm down in LA. You're down in LA. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Home of the body bag. There you go. All right. Well, Chris is going to perform for us. Uh, what are you going to do for us? I'm going to do a song, uh, a new song that uh, will eventually be out on my uh, new record. Okay. And uh, it's called Not Going Down Alone. Okay. Well, we're going to do a quick commercial break here. We'll be back with Chris Shiplett of the uh, Foo Fighters fame, and uh, he's playing tonight at the Underground. Also appearing with him, Tony Sly. Uh, who, uh, who is still a part of uh, No Use For a Name, and you can catch them tonight. I'm sure tickets are still available. The Underground, just a great place. Uh, let's see, what's the address? 555 East 4th Street. If you need any info, dial me up here at 793-1045. Back in a few.